Hello YouTube, today I will show you how to create and 3D print QR codes. Let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is search for QR code generator. You can choose whatever, whichever you want. Um, I decided to pick this one. Then you need to select your link you want to create a QR code with. I take my YouTube channel. My channel and then copy this link. Then you can type it in here by copy and paste right click and then paste and then create QR code, QR code. but first uh, you could choose the size um, I think one pixel could be one millimeter so we want to take 200 pixels which is 200 by 200 millimeters instead then create QR code and now we are done so we wanted to export it as a SVG file so we can perfectly import it to Fusion 360. Press to SVG and then it's progressing. You don't have to sign up, it will just download after a time. So that's the first step. So now to the second step. I'm going to click to import or einfügen in German, then to svg.hi. Press on it and then import over this computer. And then you can choose the QR code which you exported as an SVG. Then you can choose again, then press OK. Finish the sketch. And yeah, that took a while. Then you have to select everyone, everything by itself. So let me do that in a time lapse. The whole process took me just over 10 minutes. If you are done with selecting everything and extruding it a few millimeters up, you can just change the color to black and then look if it works by just scanning it. And yeah, in my case, that took some time. But in the end, it worked. I printed it with a brim, 100% infill, and 60 millimeters per second. As the printer was done with the bottom part and started with the QR code part, I paused the print and change the filament to black. After about two and a half hours, the print finished. As you can see, it turned out very good. But there was the first uh, version. If you are too lazy, there is another option you can choose to make it a bit easier. But in my opinion, I don't like that so much. So search again, QR code generator. Then you select whichever you want. I choose again this one. Then you type in your code. Then let's do pixels. We have the QR code. Now we don't save it as an SVG, instead as in PNG.
So now we have the QR code as in PNG. Now we want to search PNG to STL and select, let's say, this one. Then select. the QR code as a PNG and then convert to STL and then you can download the STL file back in Fusion we can import as a NAS then we can choose the STL file import it, maybe rotate it about 90 degrees and we are done what you want to do now is click on this thing here and don't um, select the allow continue and now you can with right click and uh, net in b rep convert and now you can better work with it As you can see, we have a QR code, but it don't look quite as good. What you can do against that is make a sketch from here, and then go from here to here, and extrude this. Up. Now this bit is cleaner, but we have to select all of that. This and extrude card up let's say um about point oh five millimeters yeah as you can see that's very very small and we have to scale it up later but I think we should do that in Cura And then that looks better. Now we want to do well another sketch. Here again, another box that's bigger than the QR code. And then we want to extrude it in the other direction. And yeah, cut it out. Now we have a QR code that looks quite a bit better than before, but yes, now we want to draw the base plate. Another sketch, again zoom in as much as possible, I think that should be good, yeah, and the other side. We can't zoom further in and here. Okay, now we extrude this up. Make this thing up a bit about and oh point one maybe. Nope, 0 0.06. 07. Yeah, that looks good. But not cut. That connect. Connect. And then we are done. In Cura, we have to import it. QR code 2. 
and yeah i'll select it so much bigger because it was too small and it's unable to slice oh not within the big volume i absolutely can't see it Okay, I have no idea where it is. Just import it again. Hey, I have no idea where it is. But uh, up there. If for some reason it's up 4000 millimeters in the sky, so put it down to zero and delete that one. Now oh, that's pretty big. <coughs> I wanna rotate it, then it's flat on the build plate. And zoom in a bit. As you can see, it looks very good also, but now we want to scale it a little bit. The height we want to have to 5 millimeters, and undo uniform scaling, and then X and Y want to have 50 millimeters. 50, and here again 50. And now you can slice it. 2 hours 50 minutes, yeah, let's have a look. In the end, both methods worked quite good. I hope you got inspired and learned something new. With that said, I will say see you in the next video.